What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we are going to make some new dogs for an old chainsaw. I scored a pair of Homelite XL12s from a guy on Facebook Messenger that doesn't live too far from me. Awesome dude. Uh, shout out to you, Justin, if you are watching now. Thanks for uh, hooking me up with this pair of saws. So one saw doesn't have a set of dogs or a bar for that matter. So what we're going to do is um, I've already ordered a bar that I want for it and I'm going to make new dogs today. So if you're interested in how I do it, stay tuned. All right guys, so fairly simple process, if you can see already. I had an old piece of aluminum that was down here in the shop. Uh, this is almost a quarter of an inch thick. I think it's 3 16 I'm not gonna measure it, I really don't care. It is the exact same thickness as the other dogs on this other chainsaw. So I have a complete saw here, and as you can see, these dogs are in good shape here. Uh, what I'm going to do is literally take these off and then I'm gonna trace the pattern out on this, and then we're gonna cut it out. So I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to cut it out of this piece of aluminum. More than likely, I'm going to use a jigsaw uh, and just a metal cutting blade and go nice and slow and clean up the edges with the Dremel after I'm done, mount it on the other saw here. So I'll have a, a identical pair of dogs for identical saws. Um, these old home lights are really cool. Uh, both of them are running. Uh, and I just can't wait to get some uh, bars on these things. Uh, I've ordered two new ones and I can't wait to uh, get them up and running. So today is a little chainsaw video. Let's make some new dogs. Uh, let's get down to it. I'll quit running my mouth. All right, guys, as you saw, all I did was trace out this bad boy. Uh, there's a, They're rounded on here. Obviously, I'm going to make them nice and sharp on the ends, but uh, now it's time to cut this bad boy out. We'll see how the jigsaw does. Um, I'm not going to be able to do nice turns with it. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that, but um, I'll figure it out, and you'll watch. <laughs> talk about overcoming adversity on this one so it would have been really easy if I would have had my scroll saw but of course you just sell things that you don't think you need until a project like this comes along so I went ahead and bored some um, bored some holes down through it with the drill press uh, and then I'm gonna finish it off with the uh, Dremel make it look good so <laughs> this is where we're at right now I'm gonna some of these spikes I'm gonna take down but whoo this was a pain in the butt without a um, that a scroll saw so let's go ahead and finish this thing off here last thing I need to do is drill some holes in here for the mounting bracket so otherwise doesn't look too shabby it looks exactly like the other one um, doing it with the Dremel uh, the cutoff wheel does pretty darn good I'm just trying to dress it up I dressed it up on the bench grinder a little bit um, <clears throat> it could probably use a, a little bit more filing but uh, it kind of looks like hacked up art project <laughs> but 
put their dogs on a chainsaw, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, they, it's pretty darn stout, so uh, this aluminum held up just fine. Um, this is obviously years old, um, and this should hold up pretty darn good. So um, I'm about to drill the holes in it, and then we'll mount it up on the saw. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it kind of came out like a five-year-old art project, but uh, nonetheless, I got some dogs on the other chainsaw. Um, they don't look too shabby. Uh, definitely a scroll saw would have made it a lot easier, uh, would have made it look a lot better, but I did what I had to uh, with what I have right now. So I wanted to get it done. Uh, didn't care about you know just a, giving up a little bit of that aesthetic, whatever. Um, it looks... Uh, looks just about as good as the other one uh, i'm going to slap this one on the old chainsaw or the other chainsaw for that matter and uh so i got uh two chainsaws with dogs on them so uh this is a good old five foot uh project looks good from five feet and and beyond so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um keep on keeping on out there uh if you want give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down whatever you're into uh, and for all those who have clipped subscribe and follow the channel, I'll see you guys in the next video.